Welcome to part two of our learning how to code in Delphi series. Now, in our previous video, we looked at what the Delphi environment looked like and how we could open up a brand new Delphi program. But the key before we even get to the code is we need to make sure that we are saving and opening our Delphi projects correctly so that when we edit them and save them, that we get all our work to be working correctly. So this is a very important video before we even get started to learn how to code. So if you remember from our previous video, we would go file, if we click on file here, go new VCL form or application. That's what we want to open up a brand new Delphi program. So it's going to open up a whole little window for us. So there we go. There's our little form that we're going to use. So let's save it straight away. Now, when we are saving, there's a little key thing that we need to remember that Delphi is not like your Excel or your Word or all these other little programs where you just save one file. Delphi is going to save a series of files. So it's very important to note that we're not just saving one thing, we're saving multiple things. And so that's why we need to be very careful about how we save it. So I'm going to come here to file. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of save options over here. I want you to particularly note of the save project as. The very first time you save, always use the save project as. So that you save all the files associated with this project. So I'm going to click on save project as. And then the save dialog box will appear. And you then will have to move to the particular place where you want to save your program. So I'm going to do that now. So browse to where we want to save it. So yeah, I'm at the place, I'm going to save all my programs here in this folder called Delphi Programs. Okay, that's great. Now, this is the other tip. Now, if I save a program here, it's going to save a whole bunch of files. And if I want to save other programs here, it's going to, it's potentially going to cause a conflict with the other program files. So I always save each individual project in its own unique folder so that I can keep all my programs separated. So although I've in a folder here, I want to save all my Delphi programs here. I don't want to save them all together in one big batch here. I want to save each one individually in their own folder. So I'm going to click on new folder here and make a folder for this first project, which I'm going to call my first program because this is my first program. So there's my folder called my first program and then I'll double click on that. And so I'm going to save all the files for this project in here. And then if I create another program, I will obviously create another folder for that one and save it into that one. So I'm going to use my first program over here and I'm going to save all my files in here. So I'm going to click. You'll see there's a unit one file. We're not to worry too much about changing the name. Later on, you can learn about changing the names and that. I'm not to worry too much about it, but you'll see that it is a .pass file. It's unit one .pass and we're saving it into my first program. So look what happens when I click on save. It's saving, but now the box pops up again. Was there a mistake? No. This is a different file that is now being opened. This is the project file, and we want to save this in here as well. In the same folder as my first program, I'm going to save it there as well. So I'm going to click on Save again. So now my project is saved. And now if I make any changes to my project, at the moment I haven't made any changes, so you can't see any anything there. You're not going to save project as again. But if I do make a change, let's say I make this form a little bit bigger, I've made a change. Now there is a possibility that you've made changes to multiple files in your Delphi project. So when you make a change, my suggestion is that you always go file and save all, so that you save all the changes for, for all the files that you've made. I've just opened up that folder in Windows Explorer just so you can see what it looks like. There you can see there's a whole bunch of other files that we didn't save, but the project files there and the unit files there and everything else was created by Delphi. There's even a history file folder that we'll get to later. But that's the basic gist of how we can save it so that we've saved it correctly. Okay, so there we go. I've saved it. So great. Now, what happens if I want to open this file if I've finished working with it and I want to close it and I want to come to it later. Now if you're closing Delphi that's fine. Now that this is another little tip. If you are opening up another Delphi program and you are finished with this program make sure that you don't just close the file. If you close the file you are only closing one particular file that Delphi is using of that project. And then if you open up other stuff, it's going to conflict with the stuff that you've already had that's already open. So whenever you are finished using Delphi and you want to, you're not finished using Delphi, but you finished using this program and you want to use another program, always, now always close all the files. So just remember, you first save the project as and thereafter you save all. And now we will close all the files. 
So now it's closing all those files for me. That's great. Now they are all closed. So now when I go and I want to open up that file, let's say I've, I want to go back to it. I've opened up Delphi now again. I want to go back to my first program. I click on file and now we want to open a project. I would suggest going this way. Instead of just double clicking on files in your Windows Explorer, get used to open up Delphi first and then go file open project. So it's going to obviously take me, we need to go to where we want to, where that we saved that last program. So I'm going to go do that so long. There's my Delphi programs. I'm at my first program and there's, it's only listing two files. Now we want that top file, the project file. It's normally the smaller file of the two. That's the one that will work. If I click on that, when I say file open project, that's the one I want to work with. And I click open and there we go. It opens up everything, the entire project, the unit, the, the form, everything. So let's recap. We're going to go when you obviously when we create, we go file new Windows VCL application. When I save it for the first time, I will save project as and save all of the files in what? In their own specific folder. And then if you make any changes, you will then go and save all. And then when you are finished working with that particular project, you go and close all. And then if you want to open up the project, you click on open project. If you are using Delphi 2010, everything's exactly the same, except for when we start, obviously, we say new, okay, new, and we go to VCL forms application. That's how we started. So we create a new VCL forms application. And then everything that you learned from the previous little bits of this video is exactly the same. So we go file, save project as, if you want to save the project as. If you've made changes, you then go file, save all. Once you are finished using your, your project, you go file, close all. And if you want to open up the project again, you go file, open project and go find the relevant file. So everything's pretty much the same on Delphi 2010. So now that you've done that, now you know how to save and open up Delphi files. Please support the channel by leaving a like or even subscribing. That would be great. And go to our playlist to see other topics and learning how to code in Delphi. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.